in my room the other day and I found this book behind one of my drawers, like all the way in the back. It's probably been there for years. I had completely forgotten all about it. But as soon as I saw it, I had all these repressed memories come rushing back. Ah, this would make a good video. This is one of those books you make in grade school and get it made into a real book so your family can buy copies. I've already made a video about a book I made in 4th grade, but this is a book I made in 2nd grade. And it's not one where we got to write a whole story with action, suspense, and kidney failures, no. We only had to write one page and draw a picture. Yeah, you'd think I wouldn't mess this up, wouldn't you? But here we go. The book was called Our Gift to the World, and it had a picture of everyone in the class on the cover. And interestingly enough, here's itty bitty TJ right here. My twin sister Faith from the preparatory school video is here. And even Wesley from the first video is here. So can you guess who I am? Let's remove some of the obvious ones. I'm this one! Okay, I know I'm not the only one with an embarrassing photo, but come on, I'm not even smiling. Ugh, and it only gets worse. Everyone had to write their gift to the world what they would do to make the world a better place. Here's what most pages looked like. And here's what TJ wrote. My gift to the world would be peace. I would babysit everyone's baby, for the Lord has said, let there be peace. I would also do their chores. <laughs> also, what is going on in your picture? I think that's a person? And is that the son? And who would let a second grader babysit their baby? Okay, so everyone's talking about peace and homeless people and stuff, and here is how second grade James would do good in the world. What would you give to the world? I would be a troop of a war. Yeah, I'd kill people, that's how I'll help. I can also bring food for the war. I can even risk my life for another troop. I can be a nurse to help others. But the best part of all of this is the picture. Here's what I drew, and here's what Faith drew. Obviously, you can see who's the more artistic one in the family. Now, let me try to explain what's going on in this picture, because if the teacher knew what I actually drew, she would have definitely called my parents. So I drew my people in a very weird way back then. I had a circle, face, then I added arms and legs and hair. Boom! So, the good guys are colored in red, and the bad guys are the orange, purple, and yellow ones. The red guys are standing back to back, killing everyone. This guy is holding a sword, for some reason, and this guy is holding a gun. And it shoots three bullets. And if we look at where the bullets are going, we see one shooting a purple guy, an orange guy hiding in a tree, and a yellow guy who is very dead, I think. And at the bottom of the tree, there's a crocodile. And the purple, yellow, and orange guys are trying to climb up the tree to get away. But the branch is falling, so he's sad because he's going to die. Up here we have some birds. These black lines are birds, because we all know that birds are just really long M's. So these birds we see are dropping the bad guys, and I guess these three birds are carrying the bad guys away? And you know how everyone draws a sun in the corner of the page? Well I did, but the sun is actually eating the bad guys. Which is a very sad way to die if you ask me, getting eaten by the sun. And I remember, even as a second grader, being super embarrassed when the teacher read it out to the class. So I guess when I brought it home, I hid it behind my drawer so I'd never have